Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining, I am Jennifer, a full-time reseller. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the support. I am back today with a what sold video. My light just turned off. Uh, this is the weekend what sold. I was actually out of town last week. I went to Colorado to go visit my sister and beautiful Breckenridge. Wow, I wish I could bottle up that air and that weather and bring it back to Tucson where we are a hundred and whatever we are today, 105, 108. I don't know. Once you get over a hundred, the rest, the, the rest of the dumber doesn't even matter because you just stay inside. It's hot and you try to avoid this weather. So let's dive into what sold this weekend. This would be from Friday through today. Um, we have 19 items on eBay for a gross profit of just over 1500 Then we have three lovely orders over on Macari. I have been cross-listing using Vendu. If you want to use a discount code in the description, I've got a code for 25% off of your first month. I cross-list with them. It makes it easy to pull my items from eBay over to Macari or other platforms. So I've got three sales for right around $150 uh, over there. So I will go over all of these in detail so that these are items you know to watch for. If you are starting out as a reseller, you want to learn some new tips, new tricks, uh, new items that sell today on social media, on eBay, on Macari, on Facebook, on all the places. You are at the right place. So we're going to start with Mom Cozy. This is a baby wrap. Um, I guess that's what they call it. Baby carrier. Um, Mom Cozy. Good brand. This was $3 at my local Amazon bins, um, liquidation center bins. Sold for $30. So I see these all the time on higher dollar days. They just don't keep their value. So this one is, I mean, I paid 3 bucks. I'm happy to flip it for 30 all right, we've got a micro cassette transcriber. Um, I did open it up. Yeah, the box is pretty beat up. Um, I paid up on this. I paid $20 at my local thrift, uh, but it's brand new in here. So it sold for two or sorry, for $100, $99.95. Okay. Um, right after that, we've got a Uniden R3 radar detector. Fun story with this one, it was, is it $5 day? Which day was this? Yeah, this was $5 day. It was up on the counter in a box that said it was like $200 or something crazy. And I told them like, all right, well, let me see what's in it. Let me see what we're looking at here. And it turns out it was not that model. So we looked at it and while it was still a Uniden, uh, Uniden, I don't know how you say it, um, radar detector, it was an older model. So originally the gentleman's like, oh, let's just throw it away. I'm like, no, I mean, if it's five bucks, it's still worth it. I'll take it for five bucks. And it sold for $170. So definitely it pays to ask and definitely check your boxes because even though it looks like what it is on the inside, it may not be. So always look at the model numbers, make sure it's complete, make sure it works. All the good things when you're dealing with these bin style stores. Uh, next up, we've got a Juniper, that's this guy, yeah, uh, I gotta get it back in its box. It is a Postpo Juniper CD DVD player for your car. This guy, I paid $5, I think it was the same day, um, and he sold for 80 bucks. It's some kind of car player, I gotta get this to fit back in there, but, uh, so that you can play movies, I guess, in your car. I don't know. I don't have to know. I just put it into eBay. It tells me what it's worth. Make sure it powers up. It's sold for 80 bucks. Uh, we've got Time Life. So these guys, I always grab Time Life because a lot of these collections can be worth some good money. This one, not as much. I paid $5 at, I think it was an estate sale. Um, and it turns out it was only worth 16 bucks. Usually they sell for like 20 to 30, depending on the collection. Whatever reason, this one is not as popular. 16 bucks, but it sold within a couple days of listing it. So that is something that I'm learning and I want to pass on to you. When we are getting these items as cheap as we are, it's okay to be on the lower end of pricing. People ask all the time how I figure out how I'm going to price an item. So when you go to your sold comps, 
I used to go kind of in the middle. If I'm seeing like 20 to $25 is what the range is, I would price mine at like 22 to 23. New Jennifer is starting to realize, hey, I can price this at 20 or 1950 and have it sell faster. Over the difference of two or three dollars, make sure that you're the lowest price and you're gonna flip your items that much faster. So that's what I am starting to do and this was one of those. So not a very popular item, but it still sold really quick because I was the best price at the time. Uh, and that's just if you're, ba you're buying it right. That's the number one thing with reselling. Make sure that you're buying it right to begin with so you have room in your margins to run sales, to run promotions, to send offers, and to be the lowest price on the platform. All right, we've got a MAG524. Again, another thing, I have no idea what it is. I think it's a streaming device. Yes, it is a streaming device. Um, so it's kind of like a Roku or a Fire Stick, but this particular one um, does more fancy stuff if you're a techie person. And it is complete. It was $15 day at my bins, sold for $85. We got a golf club. I've got to figure out how to bulk edit my golf clubs to update the shipping. I have probably, a, oh my gosh, like 50 golf clubs. And because the shipping on them is showing us so high, these clubs are not selling. So this guy paid up on his shipping. I took an, I believe I took an offer on it or it's on sale. Sold for $35 and then he paid another $35 to ship it. I'm going to be able to ship this for less than that. So I need to update my listings to make sure that people are still getting the deal on shipping these golf clubs. So if you know how to bulk edit shipping, let me know because I want to get my rates lower and I don't want to go into each and every listing and update the shipping. So hopefully there's an easy button if one of you know it. Uh, we got some shoes. I originally bought these for myself. They were at a, I want to say an estate sale. Might have been thrift. I don't remember, but there were five bucks, brand new, um, new balance shoes. And it turns out they were not very comfortable. Um, so I went ahead and sold them. I took an offer of $34. Uh, they are free shipping, but I'm in at five bucks. I originally bought them for personal and ended up selling them because I didn't keep them. All right, we've got a dreams machine. Okay, this thing was... I want to say savers. I want to say it was a savers thing. It was wool. So that's what caught my eye. Wall makes shavers and things like that. Personal devices, massagers. This guy is a bed massager. Um, so you put it underneath your, I guess your mattress. I don't know how much you could feel if it's under your mattress. Maybe under a sheet. I don't know. Either way, it's old. Um, I paid probably too much for it. Um, yeah, I paid $15. The comps were all over when I first looked it up, and it turns out it was not worth what I was originally looking at. I think it had other accessories or it was a different model. Whatever. I'm walking away from them with a sale of $30. So not a very big profit uh, and definitely won't buy those again. Um, we've got a keyboard. I bought two of these um, at my bins. They are brand new, open box. I paid 15 probably shouldn't have, um, but it sold for $34. I've got another one. Um, I think I ended up having to go down on the price quite a bit because they were not selling. Uh, live and learn. I should have done better research when I bought them. All right, what else do we got today? We've got a Loungefly purse. Loungefly Disney Mini, or Mickey Mouse. I think it's Mickey. Uh, that might be Minnie with eyelashes purse. It is a pumpkin. I paid $5, $5 at a garage sale. Unbelievable find. Um, I took an offer of $35. I say unbelievable because most people price these up big time. Loungefly is a serious bolo when it comes to purses. Uh, there's so many different styles and collections and collectors pay up for it. Um, so $35, I think it's plus shipping. Uh, it's going to go to a new home, and it's super cute. So I just had to rescue that from the garage sale, especially for $5. Um, we've got a really good sale here. So this guy, Ghost Face. Ghost Face Mask. Uh, this is one of the old ones. If you ever come across these, always make sure that it is, uh, to make sure it's an old one, it says Fun World right down here on his chin. Um, he still glows. I put that in the picture that he still glows. He does have some like purpling 
happening to his cheeks. Um, so I made sure to put that into the listing and I originally listed it like ridiculously high, like $400, $500. People were sending some lower offers and I ended up just sitting on it, being too greedy. This last weekend, I'm like, I just want to get rid of it. So I posted it, I think for $200, started getting a bunch of offers. I took an offer of $150. Again, I bought it so cheap. I paid, it was either $2 or $5 at a garage sale. It was crazy, crazy low. Um, so to walk away with $150, there's no need to be greedy. If this person's going to go off and resell it, um, I think the buyer's account was something like TV films, TV head films, uh, something like that. So either it's going to a movie set or just somebody who collects movie memorabilia, they're going to be happy with it. I'm happy with $150 and get it out of my store. All right. We've got some boots. I paid five or ten dollars this was at a garage sale i think i paid 20 for this whole collection of boots um these ones are a little bit dirty but they're dancing boots good condition they're gonna have lots of life and dancing left in them sold for thirty dollars not a buy i would normally buy i think i was desperate that morning i wasn't finding a lot of things and i just needed to buy something i guess uh we've got a newbie garmin 37.60. I love these little garments. They sell all the time. They're definitely going a little lower in value uh, than they were maybe a year ago. So this guy, I've had it a while. I forget what I paid either. It would have been less than $5. Um, it sold for 19. Not a great flip, but happy to get it out of my store. Um, speaking of personal massagers, this guy, these sell all the time. This one is the Thumper 2 Pro something. Thumper Mini Pro 2. Um, tested, it works, paid $5 at an estate, sold for $36. These sell all the time. And I think I have another one listed. Uh, what else do we got today? We've got a Water I.O. Smart Water Bottle. $15 bins Friday. Uh, I've had it for a while. I was tempted to keep it because it's good to remind you to drink your water, especially when you live in a desert. So this guy sold for $43. Not a huge flip, but happy to get it out of my store. Um, we've got a camera. This is a Lorex SD Plus security camera. It is just the replacement camera, nothing else with it. It's got its cord here, but uh, you need to have the rest of the cord to be able to use it. And that's very clear in the listing. This guy, I paid $2 at my local thrift and he sold for 40 bucks. Um, it took a little while, probably a couple months or so, two or three months, but that's all right. 40 bucks. I am thrilled. Um, next one is a really good sale. These last two are the best sales, I think, of the weekend. Starting with, um, I guess it's not the best. The Scream Mask is probably second place, but the best of the best will be after this. Uh, we've got a Wilson Encode Tennis Racket. Uh, thrift, local thrift, um, I paid up, it was $15, but it is brand spanking new. It is still wrapped down on the handle, um, still has this plastic wrap, still has its uh, paperwork, brand spanking new. Um, and it sold for $120. That is a good sale. And the last eBay sale goes to this guy. Uh, this is a Phillips pocket wa pocket um, recorder. Uh, it works. I tested it. It is new, open box, and it sold, or I got it $15 day at Amazon Bins, $15 day, sold for $200. $200 for a Phillips recorder. Definite, definite bolo. Any of these little recorders, Sony makes them, Phillips makes them. Um, there's a few others that make it, and they are amazing when you find them. And this one to be at the bins, $200. Wow. All right, let's hop over to Macari. We've got a, what is this? A knife. A SOG seal, fancy knife, brand new. Has its little case holster thingy. I don't know what else to say about it. $15 at my bins. Sold for $70. That was a good one. We've got an ink that sold over on Macari. Uh, this guy I paid $15 as well. Bins Friday. And this one sold for $50. Um, 
And the last one, this was a $5 bins find and sold for $31. It's a Bugaboo Butterfly Bumper Bar. Say that three times fast. Uh, so those are the three items that sold over on Macari. And that wraps up the weekend. I had amazing sales. I said 19 over on eBay, three over here on Macari. Um, there'll be break. There will be a breakdown at the end of the actual profits because when I'm saying these numbers, that doesn't mean that it's profit. So we got to minus your fees. We got to minus any extra shipping. Um, we got to minus cost of goods. And so you'll see the actual take home gross. Sorry, the net profits at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, down in the description, I have a free gift for you. And it's a BOLO list, stands for Be On The Lookout. I do these videos to show you the current items that are selling right now on eBay, but I have compiled a list of other top brands and items to watch for. If you're starting out as a reseller or just looking to broaden your horizons, that is yours to download in the description. Thank you guys again so much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful week. Take care.